Hey guys! Welcome to my channel! I'm really excited because I may have just ordered the new collab with Jeffrey and Manny. If you want to see how I created this makeup look for prom or anything, you can wear this every day. It's super natural. Um, then go ahead and keep... So to start off, I'm going to take my Hangover RX primer because my skin's really dry and I'm just going to use this to moisturize and to prime before my makeup. Now taking Maybelline Matte Pore with Foundation in 120 and just dabbing that all over my face. And I almost spilt like half the bottle just now <laughs> if you're wondering what that was. Now taking my Josie Marin oil and dropping a couple drops into my brush to help blending and to also help to hydrate my skin. Since this is a prom makeup tutorial, I am wanting my skin to look a little more hydrated, a little more glowy, just so you look perfect on a perfect day. I'm taking my beauty blender just to go over everywhere so there's no brush strokes. Now using Tarte Shape Tape, I'm just drawing triangles underneath my eyes and putting that concealer down the center of my face to brighten. And I just blended that out with my beauty blender. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick in this shade Calming Maple and just putting that wherever I want to contour and then blending it out with my damp beauty sponge. And I'm just taking my Moda Cosmetics brush and just grabbing a little bit of that contour shade and just contouring my nose slightly. And once again, blending that out with my damp beauty sponge. I'm taking my Moda Cosmetics 802 brush and I'm blending back and forth and then afterwards blending up to give me more of a blended effect. And it doesn't look patchy, or it does look patchy, but that's only because of the dry patches I have there and because of previous breakouts, it's not the contour stick. The contour stick is actually really good and I really highly recommend it. And the contour stick is literally like $3, so it's totally worth it. Now taking my Pixie Glow Mist, you can get this at Target, um, just because my skin was feeling pretty dry, so I just sprayed my face. Now taking my Wet n Wild Contour Palette, taking that light shade just to set the under eye and to brighten as well. It is in the shade Caramel Toffee and I'm just using that yellow shade. To be honest, I don't really use the contour shade very much. And I'm just placing that everywhere where I place the concealer just to keep it nice and bright. Of course, for prom, you want to be nice and bright. I'm just taking a foundation powder, any foundation powder will do, and I'm just setting the rest of my face lightly. And water break time. Now just taking my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and just bronzing up the skin with my Revlon Dual Fiber Brush that I bought at Walmart. And I'm not contouring just because I want more of a bronze glow. This bronzer does have a little bit of shimmer of it and I don't really want a harsh contour for prom. Now taking the Tarte blush in the shade Party. Um, I actually got this for my birthday gift and I'm just using just a blush brush, blush brush to blend that out and to give my cheeks a little bit of color. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I'm taking the shades Forever Young and Glow Getter and highlighting the cheeks. For my eyeshadow, I'm using the Laura Lee Violet Voss palette. And I'm starting with the shade Pris Pot for my transition shade and I'm just blending that through the crease. Now 
now mixing the shades of britches and fried together and just repeating the same steps but with a smaller, less tapered brush and a little bit more precision in the grease. Now taking the shades Bridges and Whiskers, mixing them together and repeating the same steps. What you want to do with eyeshadow is go lightest to darkest just so you have a nice transition and so all the shadows blend nicely. Now just taking only the shade Whiskers and using an even smaller tapered brush to blend that through the crease. And I'm concentrating this color more in the outer corner and once there's less product on my brush, I'm bringing it towards the inner corner. And I'm kind of winging it out a little bit just to give myself a little bit of a cat eye shape to my eyes. The most important thing to eyeshadow is blending. Blend, blend, blend. There, you can never blend too much. So now we're gonna take these two shades which are ragamuffin and alabama and i'm doing the same thing but more concentrating this on the very very outer corner and once again bringing it in as there's less product on the brush so i'm just grabbing the shade basic which is just a, like a creamy bone color and i'm just using that just to make sure that everything once again is blended now i'm going to take the naked cosmetics pigment pigment in the shade desert sunset and i'm going to spray my brush with my setting spray which is what i'm doing now if you are wondering and then i'm going to apply that and what this does is it makes it more intense makes it a lot more pigmented and it also helps to apply the actual shadow all together. Once again I'm spraying my brush with that setting spray and applying it to my lid to make it a little more intense. Boom! So I realized that I should have done my eyes before I used this pigment because it had a lot of fallout and it was really, really hard to remove. That's what I'm doing here is trying to remove that fallout and it kind of like made me mad that it wouldn't go away. So I wanted to add, of course, more highlights. So I went to the glow kit again and added the, sh the lightest shade and just added that to the inner corner and then eventually I will add some more on my cheeks because to me... You can never have enough highlight. Now taking the shade Mama Bird and just blending that on the lower lash line. This is actually the only shade I use just to keep it nice and simple. Blend, 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 blend. It's all you need to worry about. Just blend. I'm now taking my NYC liquid liner and I actually have a full video on how I do my wing liners. So. I'm not going to go into depth on this, so if you want to see how to achieve wing liner, then just go ahead and hop on to that video. Now time for lashes. I will name what lashes these are down below and then I'm going to do some mascara on my top and lower lashes. And I am using the Max Lash Volumizer Mascara by Duche, I think it is. If you're wondering why I apply my false lashes first, before I do mascara, it's just personal preference. I like to do it my mascara after I had apply my lashes, just because I feel that it helps my real lashes blend in with the false ones better. Now I'm gonna do some lip liner. This is the Real Her Lip Liner in the shade I Am Unstoppable, and I'm slightly overdrawing, not too much, just my top lip, and then filling it in.
Now taking the Tarte Tardius lip paint in the shade Birthday Suit. I also got this in my birthday gift from Sephora and I'm just going over that lip liner. And here's where I go back into my glow kit and take the shade Forever Lit and add more onto my cheekbones because you can never have enough highlight and for prom you want to glow to the heavens. You want NASA to see you up in space. That's what you want. FYI, if you're wondering why I'm dancing and talking throughout the video, I'm just listening to music. Um, so it's like a get ready with me type video. Um, I'm just jamming out, so don't mind me there. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, all of that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post. I post two times a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. Although last time I posted I kind of was a little late and I'm sorry. But I do try to post Tuesdays and Fridays, so if you guys want to see my crazy self every Tuesday and Friday, then just subscribe. Do it. Please. Just kidding. Do it if you want to. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my other videos. Let me know what you think. Comment and tell me what you want me to do next. Just keep me informed on what you want to see, basically, is what I'm saying. So, I will see you guys in my next video.